so today I'm going to be doing my Christmas haul. What I got for Christmas, the things that I received. Whew, wow, how exciting. Can you believe that Christmas already has like come and gone? It's ridiculous how fast time goes. So anyways, today I'm going to be doing the video showing you guys everything I got. And I've done this for three years now, I believe. And um, I like these videos. I think they're fun. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. But obviously I'm not trying to brag or anything. That wouldn't be fun. Everyone has to say this because I feel like if you don't say it and you think it's just like something that you can just leave unsaid, people will be mean or something. So anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I got for Christmas. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. And if you want to tell me what you got for Christmas, I would love to know. So I'm going to start and I'm going to actually start by like going from like the bigger gifts that I got to like smaller things because I always go the other way around and I feel like by the end of it no one's even watching. So... I don't know. We'll see if you watch the whole video today. The first thing I got is actually in this bag, and you might recognize this bag because it's actually like a Rebecca Minkoff um, dust cover for her bags, and I got one of the mini Mac bags, and the reason I got this bag is because I actually did a lot of research on it, and I found like it had really good reviews, and apparently it's really nice. So, I got it in this like brown color, and I believe this color is called Almond, so that's good to know. And it has gold, and I actually never have seen this bag in real life. I'd seen it in different colors, but I'd never seen it in this color. So, I was kind of nervous with the way it would turn out, but I love it. So, it has like the gold, and it is seriously so perfect. It's like the perfect size for me, the perfect length. It's actually really big, and that's the thing that I'm like really impressed about, and there's lots of pockets. And it's just really nice. So that was one of the bigger gifts that I got. And I just think it's, I think it's really nice. Maybe once I've been using this for a while, I'll do like a, oh, what's in my purse? Because I haven't done one of those in a really long time. But those are kind of like old videos to do, but I still like them. So the second bigger gift that I got is actually in this box, which maybe you can see what it says. Mark by Mark Jacobs. So I actually got a watch and I've been wanting this watch for a while. I saw it online and I was just like, oh my goodness, do you know how wonderful that watch would be? I got a watch last year for Christmas. If you watch that video, I got a watch on a little pillow. A little pillow. It's just like a leather band. It's kind of like a taupey brown color. I don't really know. Kind of gray. And then the watch face itself is rose gold and then the back is rose gold too, obviously. The last like bigger gift that I got was from my boyfriend and he got me something from Tiffany's which was so exciting. I was like, this is my face. I was like, what? Freaking my freakers. Because if you guys know, I'm not last Christmas, but the Christmas before I got a Tiffany's bracelet which I'm actually wearing right now. And I don't really wear it that often just because I feel like it's very blingy and like, ooh, look at me, I'm wearing Tiffany's. So I kind of like wish, I kind of wanted something from there that didn't say like to Tiffany or from Tiffany & Co or whatever because I also have a necklace that says it so I was kind of like, I'm being redundant, I need something different. So anyways, my boyfriend did a wonderful job so this is the little box that it came in and I seriously like could not have asked for anything better than this. This is what it looks like, it's a, like a star and I think there's some sort of meaning behind it but I can't remember what it is, like what the actual star means but it is so so gorgeous and I love it it's very delicate and like dainty and pretty and just so beautiful so moving on to like other things that I got I guess I'll show you guys some like beauty-ish items that I got because then that could be something you're interested in so I got this Butter London nail polish in the color Dodgy Barnett now I'm not sure what that is or what that's supposed to be and if you know tell me um, but it's like a silver color and I love silver nail polish and I really wanted a new silver nail polish so I got this one and it's freaking fantastic so I'm excited I also got the Ciate velvet manicure now I actually have only nails right now but I don't think I did it right because none of the velvet like stuck really like it's pretty much just like lumpy nail polish right now so it's kind of ugly but I'm working it anyways um, but anyways this is in the color cab cabaret mm-hmm and I don't know, I'm not, right now I'm not really a big fan because it didn't really turn out, but hopefully I can like watch a tutorial or something and like figure out how to work it because I was struggling like big time. I was like velvet everywhere and I was just like this is so not worth it, but 
it's just the way it is sometimes, so that is that. I also got this makeup palette, which is by Sephora plus Pantone Universe. I don't know what that is, but I know they had a whole collection with this, like, brand. And the box is gigantic, so I thought it was fancy. The palette looks like this, which is, like, super cool. Very, like, futuristic looking, I think, and I kind of like it a lot. And these are the colors, so... It's really nice. I really like it. I will try to use this in a tutorial. I really like these two colors here, but like these ones are like more like push my boundaries. So they'd be good Halloween colors. But anyway, I really wanted this book. And if you've ever heard of this book, it's called Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I don't know how to say the name. But anyways, I really like kind of like interesting like thriller almost fantasy novels. So this is kind of like that, I guess. Um, I read a bunch of reviews on it and it is a New York Times bestseller. So I thought it would be good. And so it's really small compared to the books I've been reading lately. So I'm kind of excited about that. And it's in hardcover. That's fancy. And the other book I got is called Shiver by Maggie Stifvoder. I don't know how to say your last name either, but um, this book is also a New York Times bestseller, and this is actually a series. I think there's another one, like there's two of them now. This is really good so far. Um, I will let you know. Maybe I'll do a book review on this when I'm done. Now, just some random stuff that I got. I got lots of tights for some reason. These are Club Monaco footless tights. These are like really expensive usually, so I was really excited to get them because I love Club Monaco, but it's expensive, so I can't really afford it myself since I don't have a job. But yes, I got these Club Monaco tights and I like them. I got lots of like thick woolly socks because I'm a big thick woolly sock person. Um, so I got these ones from Eddie Bauer that are like red and blue and I love socks like this. This is just whew, too good. These are my favorite. These are from Clark's. I've already worn them once, but I wanted to show you guys. If you go to Clark's, they have actually a lifetime warranty on all their socks or like something like that. So if you get a hole in your socks, you just bring them. You don't even need to bring a receipt and they'll give you another pair. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Just go get all your socks from there. Um, so these ones are like super fuzzy and soft and I love them. So these are amazing. If you can find those, girl, snatch them up. And then these ones are also from Clark's and they're kind of like uh, black with like little bits of brown things in them so these also look very wooly and thick and really warm so that is wonderful moving on I got another pair of tights these are just like the six dollar tights from Superstore or Joe Fresh gotta love it so love tights I got lots of like really really colorful underwear and that's my mom for you she would pick the most obnoxiously colored underwear but like these are like the most normal ones and these are by Hanky Panky if you guys have never heard of that brand most comfortable thongs ever so these are neon Mm -hmm. And these are pink and orange and yellow. Wow, how much color can a person need? I don't know. This ring my sister actually got from me from a local designer in Vancouver. It's like a horseshoe, so it's like supposed to be like good luck or whatever. And it's made out of like this super like kind of worn looking hammered metal. And I love it. It is so nice. It looks like something I would wear. I really like it. I obviously got a chocolate bar. This is the Camino dark chocolate coconut. I love coconut. So, this is my chocolate bar. I got this shirt, and it has a bunch of cats on it, because that's just my favorite thing. I love cats. So, I'm on the hunt for more cat shirts. If you know one of my sisters for me to get cat shirts, tell me. Oh, I got this huge green American Apparel bow, and it is freaking fantastic. I have a red one already, and this is just like a larger scale one, so so huge. I just think it's so nice. That is everything that I got for Christmas this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you got for Christmas. I want to know. Thanks for watching.